Hi there, everybody. Here is Mark Bromley's art of the Petition Arch, which is found in uh, Arches National Park. It's a hikeable place. You'll have to hike up to it. It's a little uh, difficult to get up there. There are some high winds sometimes that can happen up there. So be careful when planning this trip. When If you take a little child, remember, don't walk on any of the narrow surfaces when there's high wind because it is a little dangerous and uh, you could get blown away over there on some of these uh, sheer cliffs that you're basically traversing hiking out there. So make sure that, that you have plenty of lighting conditions to actually see where you're going and be careful out there because it does get hot. And this is the Petition Arch and I hiked up to this place and thought this was a wonderful arch for this painting. Uh, you can see by looking through it, uh, it's kind of like a window out into the distance of uh, the, the Moab Valley, the arches around there. See some cliffs out there, some uh, little ranges, some of the mesas out there, and uh, a lot of bushes, trees, uh, some of the sage, and uh, some of the cryptobiotic soil. Yes, the living soil of Moab, which is very fragile. So don't just go running around all over the place because uh, the cryptobiotic soil takes a long time to grow back. So you got to be really conscientious when you go out and you uh, hike up to these spots, especially if you're going to do watercolor because you have to bring extra water so you can do watercolor. And whatever you pack in with you, you got to pack out. So that means even the dirty water when you're cleaning your brushes, you got to be able to pack that out. And uh, yeah, good painted Kool-Aid that would better than... Uh, paint right but no no this is a uh, watercolor and it's a very nice piece uh, it's about the same size 22 inches by 30 inches like most of the series this is I think the ninth painting in the series actually to tell you the truth and uh, yeah this is partition arch and uh, it's a great wonderful piece uh, there's a lot of happy scenery going on here you can see it all in the background it was quickly done quickly made and, and uh, yeah, one thing about working with arts, when you're doing a series of paintings, the first one you put a lot of effort to, second and third you might put a lot of effort into, might, might put effort into it all. After that, you start to get a little haphazard, and you can see that happening in the artwork. You can see my artwork in the first parts of the series are going pretty strong. And then towards the back end, the colors are getting lighter and more muted and uh, more haphazard placement of the brush strokes with the uh, cliff areas and the uh, indicator lines starts to become a little bit more vague uh, because you start turning these out a lot quicker, a lot faster, and uh, you're just trying to get the series done. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, so the quality of the artwork starts good, starts off strong, and then it starts to get diminished as uh, as you start to make more and more of these, kind of like Bob Ross paintings. I mean, he starts out really fantastically well, and then he decides that he needs to make uh, paintings for his shows that are like 30 minutes long, right? So he cuts out a lot of details and just shows you a lot of generality. Uh, that, that's how it works in a series of paintings, it, the same thing. Uh, you start out trying to get the details, and then all of a sudden, you, towards the end, you start petering, petering out and start simplifying your imagery and still it's amazing because I still managed to get some of the berries some of the juniper berries that actually grow out there on these trees and stuff like that yes I actually got a few of those berries on there so there are still details so that is a very good piece I think I put a year on this thing I'm trying to decipher it maybe 02 to 04 somewhere around there 2000 early 2000s uh, but that's when the series was painted but anyways I'm Mark Bromley artist and author of the Uranthium series. And if you like my work and you want to do commissions, consignments, uh, want me to do some art classes and help out people learn how to do art and actually see art for what it is, I was taught by some of the best in Colorado and I would like to pass that on if you're interested. Uh, I can do these kind of things. I went to Western University for that. And uh, well, anyways, go visit my website. Contact me by email to arrange any uh, thing that you don't see on my website. I don't always get around to updating the uh, shopping list, so uh, so that might not be totally accurate. But always contact me by 
Gmail because I'm always happy to work with new people, new customers, and this is an original artwork, and uh, I think it's still available. So, uh, yeah, you can order prints or glycies of it, too. So thank you very much for listening to me. I'm Mark Bromley, and you have a happy day and happy hiking.